In this video, I would like to uh, create a control chart. Now, uh, from our run chart video, um, I created an average. I deleted the chart itself, but we need the average for the uh, uh, run chart. Um, I also need uh, several uh, statistics to make this work. One is a grand mean. And so that's just equal to the average of uh, my averages here, basically. And then I need a standard deviation. And uh, that's equal to the STDEV um, of my set of averages. And um, that will pretty much do uh, what I need to do. Now, on a control chart, we have uh, the data itself, which goes up and down. We have a uh, mean line, which is the grand mean. So I'll set that up in a second. And then we have two uh, control limits, the upper control limit and the lower control limit. The upper control limit is, uh, three, is the grand mean plus uh, three times the standard deviation. And the lower control limit is the grand mean minus three times the standard deviation. Now, <clears throat> uh, there are other statistical ways to do control charts depending on the uh, data that you have and are going to use. This is a simple one that uh, can be used uh, uh, for this sort of data. So I'm going to put grand mean here as a title. column title and this is just equal to the grand mean that I calculated and um, I'm going to hit the F4 key to make that into an absolute reference. Uh, when I do that I can um, copy that all the way down. Uh, I need an upper control limit which I'll abbreviate up UCL and lower control limit for lower uh, LCL and this is equal to the grand mean plus three times the standard deviation and again I hit the F4 key to make that an absolute reference and hit enter and this uh, lower control limit is equal to grand mean minus three times the standard deviation. Hit the F4 key again because we want that standard deviation to be a um, absolute reference. And I have those. Pull that, drag that down. And then to create my control chart, I highlight all four columns, the data, the grand mean, the lower control limit, upper control limit. And I go to insert line chart, 2D line chart, and there we have it. There is a control chart. Now, of course, putting a title at the top is a good thing and uh, so forth. Now, to interpret the lower control limit and upper control limit, there are a number of um, methods that can be used for that, and those, those are references that you might read about. Uh, the most basic way to, to interpret it is if all of the points are um, within the control limits then the process is in control and I uh, shouldn't have to worry about it. If however a point falls outside which is above the upper control limit or below the lower control limit then action must be taken to fix the assignable cause. We say that um, the up and down movement or the random variation within the control limits is called random variation and that variation which falls outside the control limits has an assignable cause and when it has an assignable cause we must take action to uh, fix the problem. So that's how you create a control chart and a bit of how you interpret them.